Hello and welcome to what's going to be considered a side let's play. Um, I was getting kind of bored with doing just um, a couple of RPGs where all I was doing was running around and killing people. I mean, I'm not against, you know, violence in video games, certainly, but it just started feeling a bit samey. So... I was thinking I was going to uh, start including what I would like to call my Sunday Fun Day um, LPs, which um, will be a little bit different than what I'm doing normally. Um, and so for our inaugural run, uh, I'm going to do something probably painful, um, which, you know, shouldn't be referred to as Sunday Fun Day, but yeah. I think this game deserves a, at least a little bit of attention because um, it's often cited as the worst of its series and that makes me curious. So without further ado, let's play Star Trek Deep Space Nine, The Crossroads of Time. Now, uh, when this was developed, um, I think, um, like, TNG was still even on the air. Um, this was made very early within the, uh, the DS9 run, and you'll be able to tell, um, a lot, uh, but, okay, you hear that, right? That's a nice, you know, 16-bit rendition of the DS9 theme song. It sounds good. Um, I think part of the reason why people really don't like this game is what we're going to hear very shortly. Deep Space Nine. Station log, stardate 46871.6. Commander Benjamin Sisko reporting. Political turmoil on our nearby Bajor has slowed our usual flows of visitors. If not for a Cardassian warship, the station would be very quiet. Commander Sisko, this is Odo. Please meet me in security. On my way, Odo. And in about two seconds, you're going to hear, why is this the music in Deep Space Nine? Did, did anyone watch the show? Um, I know you're trying to go for something a bit more action, um, you know, oriented. What are you working on, Dex? Just running some routine scans on the wormhole. Um, I know you're looking for something a bit more action-paced, but this is just terrible. Um, anyway, for some reason they decided Deep Space Nine would be best as a um, action platformer. Um, everything in order, Major? Yes, Commander. Nothing much happening. Even the Cardassian ship on Lower Pylon 3 is behaving... Hmm... redo that. Oh, great. Something wrong, O'Brien? Security grips malfunctioning. Bloody Cardassian equipment. No is breaking down. So, one thing that's really annoying is you have to be standing in, like, a certain spot to start addressing people, which, um, is very annoying. Um, you can't just be near someone and hit the, um, the Y button and people will be like, Hey! Hi, Jake. What are you doing? Hi, Dad. I'm waiting for Nog to show up. Uh-oh. More turbo lifts. You've made this station a boring shore leave stop, human. Well, boring is how I like it because, trust me, I get enough excitement, uh, every other day. How may I serve you, Commander? 
Thanks, Garrick, but I don't need any clothes today. Well then, when you need a new suit, just remember plain, simple Garrick. Oh, Garrick, you are like the best character in all of Star Trek. Um, like, period. <laughs> I... Please enter. The prophets await you. Another time, perhaps. Another time. Yeah, apparently I've got my duties as a, um, you know, prophet as well as, uh, commander. Tip, knock, honk, chuck, off, off, that. Uh, yes, I understand some Klingonese. But not that much. Odo's office. Well, that's where we're supposed to head to. One of our technicians was attacked in docking pylon 3. Dr. Bashir is examining her now. Have you arrested the attacker? Not yet. I couldn't find any witnesses. Hmm. You would think a ship like this would have a lot more security cameras. Yeah, but, you know, the Cardassians like to keep stuff under wraps. That actually uh, makes sense, considering the Cardassians. Hmm. So I guess we should head to Pylon 3, except... Access to Outer Ring Temporary de Denied. Ah, damn it. So, yeah, like I said, this is sort of an action platformer type thing. Ah, there's Julian. Doctor, Odo's told me you're a patient. Or, sorry, Doctor, Odo's told me you're a Fine, someone was just stunned her, but she wasn't robbed or hurt. Let me try that again. Doctor, Odo has told me about your patient. How is she? Fine, someone just stunned her, but she wasn't robbed or hurt. Thank you, Bushu. And thank you for going over my lines again. No, no problem at all. So, I don't need anything from that turbo lift, but... Hey, you know what? I'm in Deep Space Nine. We're gonna have to head to Quarks at least some point. Where have all your customers gone, Quark? I don't know. They just rushed out. Hmm. That is, uh, very peculiar. Play Dapo, Commander? No thanks, I'm on duty. Um, yeah, I guess that would be a... bit against your duties as a, uh, Commander to just start gambling, you know, at random points. Let's see, that's Major Kira. Senses detect some anti-proton emissions in Lower Pylon 3. I'm going to send Chief O'Brien Dime to check it out. He is busy with the security grid. I'll do it. I modified a tricord to detect the emissions. Also, thanks. I'll try to find the source for you. Also, why are you doing this? You're commander of the entire station. You, I know we don't need to send O'Brien down, but there's got to be at least, I don't know, Maybe two dozen, uh, engineer people? No, no, uh, Commander is perfect for this job. Uh, if you say so. So let's leave Ops. And the L and R buttons allow us to switch items, um, when we are barehanded. Pressing A allows us to, um, or, sorry, pressing Y allows us to engage in pugilism. Maha! Um, Y talks to people, and B jumps. So with the cried quarter, Scanna has no use here. Um, I know A does something, I just forgot at the moment. But let's head to lower pylon 3, now that the door is magically open. Okay, see, now this music makes sense. It's, um, you know, 
not great, but it sounds DS9-like. So, oh yeah, this is what the A button does. So, while on this, I hold the A button and hit down. It essentially allows you to use various items. Like, um... This tur er, turbo lift. Well, it's not really a turbo lift, it's just an elevator. Major, I found the stun crewman in Pylon 3. Understood. I'll beam him directly to the infirmary. That makes uh, sense, actually. Um, hey, maybe we should just beam people whose um, life signs are, you know, randomly dropping down right to sickbay. Well, that would make sense, but we can't do that. So, at our feet is a Type 1 phaser. Let's, if we uh, hit down twice, we can actually pick it up. Press up to uh, activate Companion. Let's see. I'm not exactly sure what that does. Um, I'll probably have to find out later, but for now... We're gonna break up our mad Prince of Persia. Dax, I found a Bajoran planting a... Uh, Firelithium grenade. Quickly, Benjamin, put it into the nearest ejection tube. So, let's wield our Type 1 phaser. Um, obviously we've set it in on stun, right? Yeah, we, we, we've definitely just stunned him. I'm just gonna keep telling myself that. This grenade is on, I'll have to dispose of it. Ejection successful. Nice! So, it seems like the grenades are in no real danger of going off until you've picked him up. Um, so it doesn't seem like at least here there's a time limit. This grenade is off. I'll have to dispose of it. Two minutes to exploding. We're detecting transporter activity in your area. It's coming from a Bajoran ship that left the station earlier. Raise shields. I don't want any more of them beaming in. Oh. Hi, you. Bye, you. And dispose of it we shall. Ejection successful. The hatch is jammed. I'll have to phaser through it. So in case you didn't pick up the phaser and you were just relying on, um, you know, Cisco's uh, mighty pugilism, you know, he did take out Q in a fist fight. Dax, I've cleared the pylon X sway of grenades. Scan show you've got more to deal with in the next section. The power cells of the bilithium grenades leak antiprotons. Use the tricorder to find them. On my way. The password is Newhom. And we'll call that for the first video. When we come back, we will... Um start dealing more with uh, the grenades in Pylon 3. Thank you very much. Have a good one.